I think something that the Bears could do this week, okay, that they really haven't done much of. You could see the uh, situation here. This is Justin Fields at quarterback. They're in the shotgun. And here's, I think, where they could get an advantage. Got the Green Bay defense right here. Not knowing the receiver situation, how that's working out with Claypool. The one guy, position that's not up here, is the extra tight end. And I know that Robert Tunyon is a player. And what you can do with Robert Tunyon now, you can move Robert Tunyon, you can move Justin Fields up under center, move the running back in that position, and now Robert Tunyon could come in and actually be your fullback. So you really end up in an I-formation look and play. Here's your running back. Here's your tight end. And you can run your downhill running plays. Okay, or with his flexibility, and I've seen him up there catch the ball. Now you line in this formation and you run Tunyon in the game and you can flex him out. You could move Tunyon all the way outside, put the receiver inside, wide receiver. This is your extra tight end. And now what you're going to force him to do, because he's such a good receiver, you're going to either force him to have a corner cover him, and then maybe have the safety or linebacker cover the receiver. Now we got the advantage, right? Speed. You'd like to have DJ Moore on a safety. Or if they say, hey, we're staying locked on, now all of a sudden what you got, your corner goes in there on DJ Moore, and now you got a safety or a linebacker out there on Tanya. And to me, that gives us the advantage. So I think one formation with an extra guy that's a player that can do multiple things. He can block, he can play inline tight end, and he can also flex him up. Keep an eye where Robert Tunyon might be.